Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Matt Tax here. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn that notification bell on as fast as you possibly can. You wouldn't want to miss a minute, a second, even a millisecond of this channel. Specifically for reasons like this. Here we go, deep diving right into this. In Switzerland, we have a new hotel that has been gifted to the world. Let me read it for you. Maybe you want to turn your headphones on and turn your phone off if you're rich enough to afford YouTube Premium with that $10 a month or whatever they cost you. Anyways, Ceylon, Switzerland, June 23. This is what this person said. I couldn't sleep and my room was too noisy. That may be the complaints. Hoteliers dread from guests. But for the Ricklin brothers, that is the entire point of their latest Zero Star Hotel art installation. So the point of this hotel is they want you to be in agony, basically. They want you to suffer. All right? They want you to suffer. They want you to be miserable. That's the whole point. If you did not suffer and you were not miserable, your stay was a waste of their time. The Swiss Concept Artist Hotel Room is essentially a double bed on a platform with two bedside tables and lamps. There are no walls, ceiling, or doors to provide any privacy or shelter. Okay, so I think we're getting down to business right here. There are no walls ceiling or doors to provide any privacy or shelter let me say it one more time there are no walls ceiling or doors to provide any privacy or shelter should i read it again should i this is ridiculous i'm going to continue on they have set up their null stern suite german for zero star. Okay, so that's what you name it. On a roadside next to a patrol station in the village of, I'm gonna try to pronounce these words, Salem, in the southern Swiss canton of Valleys. The intention is to make guests think about the problems in the world. The twin brother said and inspired them to act differently. Look at the picture. Look. <laughs> Is that actually the picture? Is this, are we for real? And this. <laughs> it says they've created similar beds in, what in the world? I've never read this word in my life. Okay. This is our first anti-idyllic spot what and then let me zoom in what is this what and then and someone actually paid to go there hey i have a better idea if you want someone to have a look 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 if you want to have a miserable experience drive your car to a gas station open your windows and just fall asleep i mean same difference right what is this Look at this. Look at this stupidity. Oh my gosh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to full screen this one here. Nah, they're not going to let me. You know why? Because I disabled Wi-Fi because unfortunately on the internet nowadays, it takes 500 hours. Well, I know it's a, a stretch of uh, where it's here, but it takes a long time to load a website because you have 15 ads going at once. All right. Let me teach all advertisers a little secret. Hey, nobody wants your stuff when you're shoving it that hard in their face. At least I don't. Because sleep is not the point. Well, you proved me wrong. Sleep is not the point, said Frank Ricklin. What's important is reflecting about the current world situation. Staying here is a statement about the need for urgent changes in society. Like what? Not breathing in gas fumes? What? 
Guests are invited in their half sleep to consider topics like climate change, war, humanity's endless quest for perfection, and the damage it causes the planet. Uh, I bet your constructing of this, installing there, caused some damage for the planet, sir. In a nutshell, now is not the time to sleep. Then why do you have a bed? All right? What do you have a bed there? We have to react, said Patrick. If we continue in the same direction we are today, there might be more anti idyllic idyllic places than idyllic. How do this word is? I gotta look it up, but I can't engage the Wi Fi right now. We know what happens if I do. We know what happens if I do. The project which has been developed with the hotelier Daniel Charbonnier. Also, what a what a beautiful name. There's a reason I pronounced it like that. Also features three further null stern suites in a more idyllic vineyard and on a picture picture K hillside. The site which come with butler service, offering drinks and breakfast will be available from July 1st to September 18th. The price for an imperfect night's sleep, 325 Okay, you're telling me $337? $337? Okay, let me read this skin to you. The whole part, you're not supposed to be enjoying it here. You're clearly not supposed to be enjoying it here, yet they're offering you a butler service offering drinks and breakfast. Yeah, no kidding. That's what that's what people know. If you're a butler, that's all you should be offering. I mean, that's like me. That's ridiculous. That's like me saying the cleaner came to my house offering cleaning services. No kidding. That's what that's what a cleaner does. A butler service offering drinks and breakfast. That's what a butler's supposed to do. Why you explain to me what the butler's offering? I already know what a butler offers. All right, simple as that. This is. Th you're telling me $337 for a person? You're not supposed to enjoy your place there. Well, then why do I have a bed? I mean, you saw that. Let's go back to, th back to that picture real fast. What is this? I noticed one thing. What a beautiful gas price they got there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so distant. Oh, what a beautiful gas price. Let's see if I can zoom in really close. Let's see. That's as close as I can get. What in the world? The guy looks scared out of his mind. His shoe is there. Is the, I mean, he probably actually fell asleep and had an enjoyable night's rest, to be honest with you. I have to, I have to uh, interview him. Someone give me his number. Give me his contact. Maybe he's. Maybe I can communicate with him. Or shall I learn a different language? Or maybe we just have a translator. Maybe we will. That is what I wanted to show you guys today. I saw this. I, I had to share it with you all. There's no getting around this. Okay. Sleep is not the point. Oh, my. Then why do you have... I'm going to go back to it again. What is this? What is that then? If sleep is not the point, what is this? Pray tell. Tell me what is the point of this? We're going to teach you about discomfort by comforting you. That makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? And why did you bring... Okay. Case in point right here. There is a wall here, you half wit. And second of all, why do you have your luggage there? Are you going to get changed in broad daylight? What in the world? <laughs> what if one of these things collapsed? That's all I'm saying. You brought your luggage, dude. I wonder if this is a joke and it converts overnight, like, it's a convertible, it's like, <laughs> they tricked everybody. But this is a wall right here, I don't know what you want to call this. This isn't a floor, this is a wall, so stop telling me it's, there's no walls. You're a liar, whoever this guy is, you need to be careful, your boss doesn't have the best vision for you. He's going to mess your life up one way or another, because if he's calling this... A non-wall, if he says this isn't a wall, and he hired you, then I don't know what to say for you. I have no, I don't know what to say. That's all I've got for you today. Like, subscribe, take care.